Well, joining us now in the studio is African Affairs Analyst Achike Chude for more on Ms. President Ramaphosa's visit to Nigeria. Thank you for speaking to us on the program. It's a pleasure. Well, what do you make of this state visit as President Ramaphosa seeks to reinforce his country's bilateral relations with Nigeria? Well, I think at the... Um strength of his uh, delegation, the size of his delegation will give you an idea of uh, the importance that is attached to this uh, visit. Of course, this is his first uh, visit to Nigeria as um, president of South Africa. And so, um, obviously, there are a lot of things uh, to talk about. That's why he has come up with this uh, large uh, delegation. Uh, we know that uh, Nigeria and South Africa are the two biggest economies in Africa. And the people have uh, tended to say that um, if uh, both countries uh, can increase the level of their cooperation at, you know, in, in trade and so many other economic uh, sphere that uh, Africa will benefit from it, not just the two countries. And um, uh, well, uh, both of them account for about uh, one third of uh, the total volume of uh, business you know, that is being done in Africa. So that makes this uh, visit exceedingly uh, very, very important. And uh, they will be discussing uh, some of uh, the challenges. Of course, they have all manners of uh, challenges, uh, you know, um, uh, between uh, both countries. Uh, don't forget that in the past uh, few years uh, that South Africa has been a hotbed of uh, violence, and some of these violence have been targeted at uh, Nigerians and not just other, and, uh, other African countries. So uh, this visit would also help to smoothen uh, some of uh, the... Uh, the nerves that we're afraid as a result of uh, these uh, acts of violence in South Africa. Uh, so the South African president, I think I would expect uh, that uh, uh, he would uh, give assurances uh, to the president and they also assure the president that uh, so much has been done to protect uh, the interest of Nigerians in uh, South Africa. Well, you made mention about, you know, the two countries being the two biggest economies on the continent. And Mr. President's visit is coinciding with the 10th session of the Nigeria-South Africa Binational Commission. What does this say, you know, of the trade and investment between the two countries? Well, they'll be looking at it. Obviously, the uh, trade and investments have been skewed heavily in favor of uh, South, Africa, uh, South Africa against uh, Nigeria. Uh, if you look at the quantum of investment by South Africa in this country, they have over 120 uh, strong firms, uh, you know, companies operating in Nigeria. Uh, you, you're talking about, I mean, there's so many of them. And then why you have very few in uh, South Africa, I want to believe that the Nigerian government will want to re address some of uh, these issues. Um, uh, and then, uh, again, uh, the issue of visa. Uh, has been a problem. Getting visa to South Africa has been a problem for Nigeria. I want, I believe that that is also going to be addressed. And uh, so many, I mean, other, other issues. Uh, Nigerian businesses, uh, there have been uh, all kinds of restrictions against Nigerian businesses operating freely in South Africa. Unlike what you have uh, in Nigeria, I, I think this is also going to be part of the discussion. And then uh, the part of uh, the South African president, maybe he might bring up the issue of uh, uh, the network provider in Nigeria that has issues, as well as uh, the, those uh, that um, uh, you know, are also providing other issues that are having you know, tax-related matters with the federal government. And I think uh, the, the, you know, he will bring some of these things and hope that his Nigerian counterpart will be able to try, will try to resolve some of these uh, issues. Well, just finally, we understand, you know, he was accompanied on the visit to Nigeria by a delegation of ministers and business leaders. And this is just coming days after uh, we heard of the emergence of this COVID-19 Omicron variant. Yeah. Do you have some concerns? Well, yeah, I, I think the South African uh, uh, government uh, would have uh, very serious concerns because he knows the implication of, of uh, that uh, for South Africa. And he has said one or two things about that, uh, the need... Uh, he has described uh, the imposition of, uh, of uh, travel bans against South Africans as uh, discriminatory. He knows the implication of that even in Nigeria. Uh, Europe is shutting down, some countries in Europe are shutting their borders to South Africa. And uh, I think he wants to give some assurances uh, to uh, the Nigerian government that, um, uh, that, you know, not to also do the same thing because the South African economy will also suffer. But then we should have concerns about, about that. If we have a problem with uh, the virus uh, you know, in South Africa, and then you want to be careful, perhaps that this might not exactly be the time to allow such a large delegation coming to the country. Everybody has to 
try to protect its uh, citizens and right. it will not be untoward for the Nigerian government to, to do that. But then again, I guess that is already too late. They are here. So we hope that they have followed, you know, normal Due safety process, protocols. Yeah. Yes. All right, then, uh, Achike Chude, African Affairs Analyst, thank you. It's always a pleasure speaking to thank you. Thank you very much, too.